Hi everyone, it's Juliana. Happy Saturday to all of you guys. So, um, this project I wanted to share with you guys, I've made because um, one of my other passions besides crafting is also reading books. I totally love to read and um, I enjoy my candle as much as I enjoy just regular books, you know, because I like the pages and I love to touch my books. So, um, anyways, I am getting ready to take a couple of trips that I'm going to be doing and um, I'm going to take a couple of books with me. And I have no bookmarks and I've been wanting to make some bookmarks for a while and so finally I decided to make some bookmarks that I could use for my books. So, because, um, you know, there's nothing more uh, frustrating than stopping a book and not having a bookmark or anything like that. So I wanted to share with you guys a couple of bookmarks that I've made and all of the products that I use are from Carla S001 Etsy store. So I'm going to be putting all of the links of the product, products that I used in my blog for you guys to follow in the description below. So anyways, this is my latest book that I'm reading and it's super amazing. So if you guys haven't read this book yet by Nicholas Sparks, you totally have to. But anyways, so I wanted to share with you guys one of the bookmarks that I've made. And for this one, I used the gorgeous paper by Kaiser Craft. And you guys have all seen this paper, but I wanted to um, share with you guys that I did use some of these gorgeous like borders that the paper pad has. And the paper pad also comes with some really cute tags that are perfect for like bookmarks. So like definitely check it out. They're so beautiful. And then here's a little um a little clip of um, what the pages look like. So they're really gorgeous, very, very shabby cheek, and such a pretty paper. So I wanted to make some bookmarks with that. And this is my first one. So this one I left kind of plain because the paper is super gorgeous and I didn't want to cover it. It has all of these gorgeous uh, Shiram's Angels, very beautiful. So anyways, what I did is I cut out, this is about 2 inches by 6 inches. Um, I cut it out using white cardstock and I then added the paper and then I added this gorgeous trim here and this is like a beige pleated trim from Carla's Etsy store. It's super beautiful as well. So I added all the way around the bookmark and it made it kind of more like shabby cheek. And then in here I made a little haul and I used one of those Tim Holtz little clasp thingies and then I added some little fibers in here and then this gorgeous little star that you can also find a Carlos Etsy. It's like a light pink and super super cute. So when I put it on my book like this, that's going to be hanging from the other side. So this is what's it's going to be hanging in here. So that is my bookmark and it looks totally cute, very very girly. So there is one. I'll put it right here so you guys can see. Now, the other bookmark I made is this one right here. And for this one, I used the paper collection again. I used two little tags here. Like, I totally love these. And um, here I just added some feathers. This gorgeous pearl trim also from Carla's Etsy. And these little, like, fabric flowers from my stash. And over here I added more of the beautiful pearl trim. So that's what this one looks like. And in the back, since I added the feathers here in the back, I just added another piece of paper to kind of cover where I glue the feathers. So that's what it looks like in the back. And this is the front. So very fun. And once I put it on my book, I can make it go like this. So then this is what's going to be lifting out of the bookmark. So really, really fun. So there's that one. And then the other bookmark I've made is this one here. And for this one, I used the gorgeous tag of the little angel. Isn't that beautiful? So again, they're all the same size. And I this one, I used some flat back pearl trim in like a blue color. And it totally matches the paper collection really well. So I love that. And then I added some... Um, 
lip trim in pink that I already had in my stash. These little flowers come from this little bouquet that um, Carla also sells at her store. So I just cut them out individually and add them into the leaf trim. And then this is one of the borders that I use from the paper collection. So I just kind of glue that in the bottom. And then I added the tag here. And then there's more of the border right here on the top. And then um, I made a, a hole punch there on the, on the top. And then I added some fibers. So that's what that one looks like. And when I put it in my book, it will come out like this. It's not fun, so it totally, totally makes your book look super, super cute. So, there is that one. And then I've made this two using the gorgeous rosette trim that Carla's also selling at her store. And um, I covered the bookmark with it. So this one is the ivory, which is really beautiful. And then I used this gorgeous ribbon too from her store. And it's just like romantic um, or something like that. And it's like... It's like fabric, it's so pretty, so I wanted to make like a little bow with it. And I added some pearl trim here that is kind of hanging. And then this little flower from my stash. And then this is one of those shabby cheek rosettes. And it looks like this. Okay, and it looks like this. So what I did is I cut one out and then I split it in half like this. So that's what you see over here on the top of it. See that? So that's the back. And then this is the top part of it too. So I totally love this one too. Very nice and very shabby cheek. So in the book, outside the book, I'm sorry, it would look something like this. So it kind of looks like a little bow kind of sticking out there. And that's the back. And that's it. So that is one of them. And then the last one I made is this one. And this one is pink using the pink rosette trim. And I added one of the J Shabby Cheeks flowers and this gorgeous cameo that um, Carla also carries at her store. So I just glued that in the middle. And then I added some beautiful pearl, uh, kind of like pearl trim, but it's kind of like white iridescent. It's really pretty. So I added that in the middle. And around the edges, I added this lace here from a stash. So it kind of goes all the way around. So just kind of glued it around there. And that's that. So once I put it in the book, I can either hide the cameo to look like that. Or I could always show the cameo too. So kind of like something like this. So I know. But... Yes, so that is um, my bookmarks that I've made for um, a couple of books that I'm going to be taking with me. So I hope you guys liked it and I hope you guys give it a try. This was so much fun to make and Carla has a lot of beautiful goodies that will make this bookmark super beautiful. So thank you so much everybody for watching. Um, please be sure to visit my blog for the links of the products and also some close up pictures. And thank you so much everybody for watching. I hope you all have a wonderful weekend. Bye bye everybody.